Um, so I hope that felt good. I think it's just kind of a moment between these two. Um, both of them have this one thing in common. Hey friends, hey, welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thank you for joining me for another video. I really appreciate your being here and spending this time with me. Hopefully you've been enjoying these um, videos where we've been doing the plan with me's. I know that I've been enjoying creating them. And as I mentioned before, it is helping to keep me accountable. Um, I definitely want to focus on being about my business. And I know by having a good plan and sticking with my planner is a good way for me to do that. It, it helps me um, be able to focus and drill in and hone in on the things that I need to complete. So anyway, hopefully you've been enjoying the videos as well. So today we're, we are going to lay down some decor and plan for the week of September 18th. All right. So if you remember, I am still very much, um, <laughs> I can't get over the florals like I'm still very much interested in um, very very drawn to the florals even though this week is going to be the first day of autumn uh, on Friday September 22nd and I am a fall girl I am definitely a fall girl but for some reason I just cannot let go of the florals yet so I did manage to find some decor um, that I printed um, that will kind of speak to both of those sides, um, the fall lover in me and that side of me that is still very much interested in having some floral decor. So I'm going to take the pages out of my happy planner to make it a little bit easier on myself. I hope you all are doing well today. So let me show you what I found. So as I mentioned, this week, um, sep uh, September 22nd, Friday, September, ooh, September 22nd, let me get the words out, um, is the first official day of autumn. Also, by the way, um, another very important date this week is Wednesday, September, September 20th. Um, this is my 20 year anniversary. My husband and I have been married for 20 years on Wednesday. I specifically chose this day because I am a fall girl. I love this season. So I intentionally planned our wedding to be a fall wedding. Um, so yeah, so you would think <laughs> I would be more um, excited about laying down fall decorations, but for some reason I'm not. I don't know what's going on with me right now, but I have not put my fall tree up yet, and I usually do have that up by now, or I ha have at least dragged the boxes up from the basement to be able to put it up in time for the first day of fall. I haven't done it yet. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to get it together. That's actually on my to-do list for this week is to bring up my fall decorations and get my house decorated for fall. Um, I think what it was is I just, I wasn't ready to transition to traditional fall colors yet. Like I just, I wasn't feeling the orange, the fall orange quite as much. So I did find these images online um, that I'm going to use for my fall spread this week. Um, and they've got quite a quite a few other colors in them. Like the terracotta definitely is incorporated in the in these designs. That is a traditional fall color. Um, but I just, I don't know, I'm feeling the blues in in these images. I love the blues. And so I did find a couple of images with blue pumpkins. Um, so this is what I'm gonna use to decorate my week. Uh, and I'm definitely feeling these colors and I don't know, hopefully by Friday, maybe I'll be more in the mood. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me this year. I think it's just a lot going on. I think that's what it is. So let me grab my little slicer situation. I never know what to call this thing. Um, my little Fiskars. I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to use this to cut out these images 
um, to make a straight cut first. And then if I do end up having to do a little bit more detail cut, I'll just do it by hand with some scissors. And I did mention, <laughs> I didn't even mention, um, one of the things that I want to focus on this week and the reason why I chose these designs is because this week I really, really want to focus on my book goals. Um, I have been slacking terribly all summer long. Um, I have done a terrible job at keeping up with my book goals. And so I really want to do a better job of that. And so that's why I chose some designs with some book elements in them. We actually um, are going to be um, having our first book club meeting on October, is it the 6th? Uh, is that a Thursday? Maybe the 5th? Let's see. October the 5th. Uh, we have a book club at our theater. And this year I have handpicked the books to go along with the plays that we are producing this season. So I'm super excited about that. And so the first book club discussion is going to be on Thursday, October 6th. Um, here is the book that we are reading. It's called Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. And this is the story of siblings that are finding out some details about their family lineage and, um, you know, just some deep, dark family secrets. And that's kind of related to what our first play of the season is about. And so that's why I specifically chose that book. So anyway, I got to get back on my book reading game uh, or I'm going to be very behind. So that's, I definitely want to focus on that going forward is making sure that I'm getting my my reading goals in and my book time in every single day. Y'all, I, I feel like I have so many distractions, but it's my own fault. Like I'm letting these things distract me. So I really got to put my foot down and um, get serious about prioritizing my time better. Because if I want to spend more time, you know, reading my books, then I have to make that happen. And I have to tell people no. If I want to make sure that I am getting my time in uh, to exercise, I got to make that happen. And I have to make sure that I'm telling people no in order to do that. So, you know, I'm accepting accountability. I know that these are choices that I have to make. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to really be telling people no. <laughs> they ain't going to like it, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. So I found this cute little book travert image online and um i'm definitely going to use it in my planner this week i actually did not mean to to print it this big i meant to size it down a little bit more but it'll be okay so i'm just going to cut a straight edge first and then if i need to um uh, do i think i probably will go in and manually just make it make the details pop a little bit more that's what i'll do with my Good old scissors, because y'all know I do not I do not have a Cricut, which is why I'm doing all of this manually, but that's fine. So this floral design, I loved it because it included the fall colors, but again, it's still very much floral, and I don't know what it is. I think I'm turning into an old lady. I think that's what it is. <laughs> when I was in my 20s and 30s, I did not like anything with a floral design. Like, it just reminded me of, of my grandmas and my aunties. and But, yeah, I think I'm just turning into an old lady. I think that's what it is because I cannot let them go. They got a hold on me. So, what I want to do with this one is I want to uh, use it to anchor my pages. And so, I'm going to try to cut a straight line right down the middle here and I'll be able to use this in one corner and this side in one corner. That's the goal. If I can get a straight line going, that looks like that might. Yeah. So these will be my corner pieces that I use to anchor. And again, I'll probably go in here with my scissors and do a little bit more detail. Um, so let's see again. I did not mean to print these images this big, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it work. 
I hope you all have been well. You all have to tell me in the comments what you have been up to. I didn't show you, but I did manage to mark off all of my to-do lists from last week. I probably need to start showing y'all that, letting you know if I was able to get everything accomplished that I set out to accomplish. Isn't that a pretty book image? Just to remind me to keep reading, keep reading. So I definitely am going to go in with my scissors for this one. So let me put this away and throw away the scraps. I mentioned to you all last week that it was a really bad asthma week for me. I can report that this week has been better. Um, I have my allergy medicine in my system. Um, I take Singular and Allegra. And uh, I had been without the Singular for over a week by the time I realized it last week and by the time I put two and two together and realized that that may be what was causing my asthma to be so bad. So it is in my system good and strong now. So it's definitely better. It's still concerning because I feel like I should not have to depend on my inhaler as much as I do. So I got a doctor's appointment coming up that I hope to get some answers, but <clears throat> I hope I'm not, <laughs> I'm hope I'm, I hope I'm not being as, as much of a heavy breather in this video as I was last week. I was struggling last week. Like, Lord, I probably sound like something very inappropriate, <laughs> all that heavy breathing. But anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, I mentioned that I definitely want to be more focused on my reading goals this week. Um, I feel like I keep waiting on life to slow down. <laughs> like all summer long, I kept saying, okay, it's going to slow down. It's going to slow, slow down. We were preparing my son to graduate from high school. Um, I was preparing myself for all these theater trips that I took this summer, this spring and summer. Then we took a really big international trip to Ghana and Morocco. Um, so that was a blessing and a joy, um, but it was still just a lot. It was just a lot to, to deal with and to do and to navigate. Then we came back home and we had to prepare my son for college. So I keep, I feel like I keep saying I'm waiting on things to just slow down and I have to quit using that as an excuse because um, I just don't know if and when things will slow down. I still got to take care of business even if things have not slowed down. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. That cannot be an excuse. I still got to do it. <laughs> so that's just kind of another reason why I'm, I've decided to jump back into using my planner um, more regularly and making sure that I'm dedicating this time to not only decorating it and making it pretty for myself, but um, actually using it as a tool to manage my to-do list and to manage my life. So, because who knows if things will ever slow down. So, that's what the focus will be. What have y'all got going on this week? I mentioned my um, anniversary is on Wednesday and first day of fall is on Friday. I have a I have several Zoom calls this week. Um, I am the regional vice president for a, a theater thing. <laughs> it's the Literary Manager and Dramaturg Association of America. And so we have, I have a couple of meetings, Zoom meetings with them this week. So we are planning some things. And I mentioned to you before that I am the conference chair this year. Well, it'll be for next year, it'll be for next June. So we gotta start having those meetings. Um, this is my anchor one, yep. So that's part of what's on my to-do list this week. Um, last week I told you that I was supposed to be reviewing this chapter 
that I am contributing for this book on August Wilson. I didn't get to it. Luckily, I haven't passed the deadline yet. The deadline is next week, I think. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to transfer that task. Remember, I told y'all about my very simple um, to-do list system. When I don't check it off, when I can't check it off, I just put a T next to it. So I'm going to transfer that task to this week because I do have to get it done. And then what else is going on this week? Um, oh, we close a show. This is the closing week for our first show at the theater. Our first show of the season is God Is. So I think we have an audience talk back this week. And I need to put that on my calendar if we do. Um, where the audience gets to interact with the cast and ask questions and make comments and stuff. So I, I need to be there for that. And then we close on Saturday. We close on Saturday. So I got to make sure that I am at the theater for that on Saturday. And then let's see. Um, I mentioned I need to put my fall tree up this week. So I, I'm going to put that down as a item on my to-do list. And then the last big thing, I have been putting this off for so long and I feel so terrible, but I'm going to get it done. I got to send out some thank yous. Um, we've, have, we've had family and friends that have just been blessing my son all summer long and getting him ready. He had an Amazon wish list for college and everything. And um, I, I need to get those thank yous out. So that is the other big thing on my to-do list this week. So I do plan to get that done. This is going to be pretty. I'm excited now. Maybe this is what I needed. <laughs> this is what I needed to get me excited about the fall. Because I don't know. I'm like, I've been doing all the pumpkin spice things like I've had. My pumpkin spice drinks. I swear Dunkin' is better than Starbucks. Fight me on that. <laughs> I do not enjoy Starbucks drinks that much anyway. There's only a few refresher drinks that I like. I don't really like Starbucks coffee. Um, now, their apple fall drinks, I think those are better. If I remember from last year, I did enjoy those better. So, I might hit up Starbucks to hit, to get one of their apple fall drinks. But the pumpkin fall drinks, they ain't got nothing on Dunkin'. Dunkin' is a thousand times better. Um, so I've definitely been doing that. I haven't made like any pumpkin bread or anything like that at home. Um, I do have a pumpkin bread kit that I'm going to be using. But um, I've definitely been using my pumpkin creamer and my pumpkin coffee syrups and stuff at home. So I've been having my pumpkin spice coffee like every day. But I have just not been in the mood for decor um, around the house. So this is kind of putting me in the mood. This is what I needed. I didn't even know it. Love that. So I wonder, I hope I can incorporate some of these blues into my fall tree because I really like how this is looking. I don't think I want to get intricate on this one. I think I just want to snip off the corners on this one. Um, but I'm not trying to spend money back to the blues on my fall tree. Um, I wonder if I have some. Oh, I think I might. I was wondering if I have, I'm going to show y'all my uh, decor collection in my basement. I think I might have some blues from when I helped to decorate a wedding reception. And I've got some blue florals left over from that, I think. Maybe I can incorporate that into my fall tree. Because I'm really loving how these, how these um, blue pumpkins look. I like that. I'm, I'm just, I'm over the traditional oranges right now. Still love terracotta, but mm, I don't want orange. So that's what I'll do. I will look for my blue florals and I'll incorporate that into my fall tree. See, look, y'all, I'm excited now. I am excited. Okay, so we have everything cut out now. 
Um, and I think this is how I'm gonna place them. Hold on, let me get rid of these scraps. Sorry, that's my bracelet making all that noise. Maybe I should take it off. Um, but I like, I definitely like anchoring my pages. So I think I'm gonna put this big one. Um, let me make sure this is in frame. Let's put this big one down here and this one up here. And then book, book travert there. I, I, I should have printed out something for my anniversary, but I didn't. But maybe I'll be able to add that later. Let's see. Let's put... Some more books down here because I definitely want to spend the weekend reading as much as possible. You know what else I need to start incorporating into my my spreads is I do have a little bit of washi tape. I don't have a big collection of washi, but I have to remember that I do have some washi. And let's put this on Friday since this is the first day of fall. Don't forget, I usually put my to-do list down here at the bottom. So my planner is functional, even though I like to decorate it, it still has to be functional. So I still got to have some space down here. Um, oh, this might be enough. Speaking of having space, so I may not need these two florals. I may be able, or these two pieces, I might be able to save them for another day or another week rather i'll see how that looks right there mm. any hoodle i don't want to make this long um i wanted to mention that i did find in my very limited supply of stickers i did find some very encouraging stickers with scripture where the wording the color of the wording matches my design here as you can see some of these are fall colors and then there's that blue that i absolutely love and so i think i might go with i love this one psalm 46 10 be still and know that i'm god but I'm not sure what I want to where I want to put it. Maybe this one right here. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That will go really good right there. I think. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, I'm going to take the backing off of these off of camera because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So I'm gonna come back and show you what it all looks like and then we'll add our our um, our scripture if that's the one I'm gonna add. <laughs> Let me chew on it. But don't you love these colors? Like, don't they go well with the design? They go so well with the colors. Okay, let me come right back. Okay, what do y'all think? I think it turned out so cute. I love the blue element in these fall uh, images. Like I am in love with that blue now. I'm definitely gonna incorporate that into my decor around the house. So I ended up cutting down this um, image right here and making it a little bit smaller because it was just looking a little too heavy for me. Um, so the, <laughs> what was left over, I definitely will use that. I just cut it out. Um, but I will definitely use this in another week's spread. I can probably use it as a border or something. I don't know, but we listen, <laughs> we use everything that we print. We're going to use, right? And then I also did not use this one. Um, so we will use this in another week also. Waste not, want not. Once I print it with my ink and my paper, oh, it will be used. So let's go ahead and get it back in my planner. So 
I'm excited now. I will add my to-do list here at the bottom. And then here's how that sticker um, turned out. Choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15. Um, yeah, that looks really cute. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this plan with me. I hope you got some ideas or some in inspiration, um, for your planner, or even if it's just to be about your business this week, because remember, that's what these videos are all about. I am literally just trying to encourage and inspire myself to be about my business. And hopefully in doing that, I am encouraging and inspiring you also. So I hope you are spending time with the people and the things that bring you joy. I'll see you back here again for next week's plan with me. But until then, have a good one, y'all. Take care.